The WWE's Apex Predator is on the hunt. The following contest is a tag team Extreme Rules match. Introducing first from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. You would be hard pressed to find a more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. This is a superstar who will do whatever it takes to win. Hey, listen, he's called the Apex Predator because he has this undeniable killer instinct. And the results? Well, they speak for themselves. Yeah, simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. Such an impressive array of in-ring skills possessed by the Viper. All Randy Orton needs is one RKO to end your evening. Well, Byron, I guarantee you Orton's going to show us tonight that he's much more than that. Yeah, Randy Orton is an SOB. I'll say it since Saxton won't. Oh, hell yeah. And from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, if there's one guarantee when Stone Cold comes to town, you know he will leave every ounce of sweat and tears inside the ring. Yeah, don't forget about the few pints of Steve Weiser is going to be left over after this match. Hey, no matter what he does, it's going to be fun to watch. superstar of all time. Well, the proof is in the millions and millions of The Rock's fans. Well, guys, there's only one question left. Do you smell what the rock? Saxton, know your role and never say that again. The rock soaking up the adulation of the people one last time before the bell rings. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option 
but to acknowledge him. And representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. <laughs> then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. You just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. And he is truly the Tribal Chief of WWE. It's time to get extreme in the lawless landscape that is the Extreme Rules match. Except for this match, we have Randy Orton and St And into the count. And there's the save. Rock with the arm clutch into the DDT. Suplex. Oh, an inverted atomic drop. Very nice. Ooh, again. Setting up for something here. Well placed kick to the gut. Another damaging kick. Nice combo. Orton. Explode suplex. And we just saw some serious offense. Swinging neck breaker. Textbook down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. And he's taking this to the outside now. And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Without that candlestick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. We have witnessed incredible brutality in this type of match. Corey, what could be a key factor in this one? This is a form of battle where if you have a shot, you'd better take it because you might not get another chance. There are no limits. There are no boundaries. Every resource is at your disposal. Every dream of destroying your opponent can become a reality. And slamming him down into a powerbomb. That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. Taking this to the floor. Wicked kick to the face. And now thrown back into the ring. Dishing out a suplex. Uh-oh, it's the red, white, and blue Thunderbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. Any chance the table will be set up for a lovely spread? Uh, never mind, that never happens. Someone is likely going through it. He thinks he has it. He forces a break before the count of two. He's not even close to being done yet. So much damage inflicted. And walk in it dry. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Cross landing. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Setting the ladder up outside. Something wicked this way comes. Measuring. Now that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Climbs back inside. 
look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. This comes into the elbow. And Orton is clearly looking for a fight here. Ripped in the hard way. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Fishy for something beneath the ring. Looks like he knows that he who laughs last is the one with the sledgehammer. And he's able to counter. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Reigns laying down the gauntlet for his opponent. He decides. Jeez. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. And after an attack like that, Austin's only going to get more frustrated in this one. Well, you don't sign up for an Extreme Rules match without knowing the consequences, Cole. The slugs were under cover or not. And that was an efficient display of all of his Cover, cover. Kick out at one. Not even a near fall there. Taking it outside the ring now. The steel chair. Never as innocent as it looks. Boom, targeting the back of the neck. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Oh! He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. And he tosses him back in now. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. The great one with the float over. Float over into a DDT. Vintage rock right there. He's finding himself in trouble here. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. And he's out of there on a nick of time. Oh, right to the throat. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Kick out just before two. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. The Tribal Chief taking a moment to compose himself. Looks more like taking a moment to gloat. Suicide die! Whatever it takes to win. And deep into the match, Reigns lets fly another heavy attack. The head of the table cinches it in. Oh, guillotine choke! What a unique submission maneuver here. And look at the pain his opponent's in. I'm on a save just in the nick of time. Orton hooking his opponent, and ooh, nasty backbreaker. Oh, targeting the neck. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Randy toying with his opponent a little bit. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Float over. Oh, and yes, the trash can connects. Talk about him taking out the trash. Check his nose. And that's something that can further crumble the rock. 
Yeah, The Rock's got to find a way to channel that reserve of electricity we all know he has deep inside of him. Down across the neck. Oh, my God, directing their attack on the neck. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Randy Orton just daring his opponent to take their best shot. Ah, softening up the neck with that one. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Counters the Viper's attack. Boom! Right on target. Telling his opponent to get their candy, you know what, over here. Oh, what a power slam. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. And he gets set back into the ring. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. He's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. He's rolling on. This is it. He got the shoulder up in time. He's still got more left in the tank. Can Stone Cold end this? Oh, he was up. KO. The great one is down. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here are your winners. The team of Randy Orton and Steve Austin. And the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart I don't come across these two in the future.